If you're an Indian guy, it's really easy to put on fat. We don't have the greatest genetics in this area. Our metabolisms are slower. We're usually more sensitive to carbs. And when we do gain fat, we usually gain them in the less attractive areas. Combine that with the fact that our diet has so many carbs and also a lot of sugar in the many, many sweets we have. It's obvious we're gonna gain weight. In this video, I'm gonna show you the diet that lost me 65 pounds. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching where I create a personalized diet and exercise plan for you. You'll be able to text me anytime you have questions or you need motivation. Basically, if you're Indian and you're trying to lose weight, I literally tried for four years straight. So you can imagine I know all the mistakes and pitfalls you're going to find yourself in. I'm only doing this for a limited amount of spots. So if you think you'd be interested, hit the top link of the description and book a call with me to see if we're a good fit. So you've probably heard of and tried a lot of different diets on the internet. Keto, carnivore, paleo, Mediterranean, even the cabbage soup diet. I tried the cabbage soup diet for a few days and got really, really sick. The first thing you have to know about your diet if you're serious about losing weight and getting results is that it's not going to happen in a five minute ab workout. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen this week or this month. The other truth that you have to come to terms with is that all those diets I just said and most of the advice on the internet works. It's true. Except the cabbage soup one, I really, I don't know about that one. The reason they work is because losing weight is a very rational and logical process. It's calories in minus calories out. If you burn 2,500 calories in a day, let's say 2,000 from just your body existing, going through the day, and that other 500 came from like a sport you played, like playing a tennis match, and then you ate 2,000 calories throughout the day, that's 2,500 minus 2,000 negative 500 calories for the day. You do that seven times throughout the week that's a total of 3500 calories for the entire week that's one pound of fat so whether you're doing a keto diet where you have no carbs at all no fruit no rice or you're doing a paleo diet where you're just eating whole foods out of the ground if you're able to meet that calorie requirement if you win the calorie equation you're gonna lose weight at least in most cases i say most cases because some people will hear this advice and be like okay i'm gonna eat ice cream i'm gonna eat snacks i'm gonna eat all the you know gummies and candy that i'm used to eating and I'm gonna hit 2,000 calories and then I'll lose weight, right? And maybe you will, but I promise that one, you're gonna feel like absolute crap. Your body's not gonna work well. You're not gonna be able to focus on any task and you'll probably gain back the weight anyways because when you're eating that much crappy foods, you're in a constant state of hunger and craving and you're probably just gonna binge eat a lot more food than 2,000 calories. Okay, so I've told you that you need to be in this calorie deficit and all of these diets work. So then how do we actually move forward to start losing the weight? I still think you should try one of these diets that you find on the internet. They're there for a reason. I actually think you should try all of them and see which one works best for you and your body. The biggest mistake I see people make though is that they try one of these diets. They do it for eight weeks, 12 weeks, even four months straight, and then they gain back the weight. The reason is because they go back to their old diet. They go back to the thing that caused them to gain the weight in the first place. The solution to this problem and being able to lose weight permanently in the long term is to make the diet you choose your lifestyle. This means after 12 weeks, you're still going to be eating the same foods. This means after one year, you're still going to be eating the same diet. This means that five years from now, you're still gonna be eating the same diet. You see how this changes the way you look at dieting and how most of the internet just sells quick solutions but doesn't actually get people long-term results. Find the one that works best for you and your body. When I lost 65 pounds, I use intermittent fasting. This is a diet where you reduce your eating window to a smaller amount during the day and you fast for the rest of the day. For example, instead of eating breakfast at 8 a.m. every day, you push that meal to 12 p.m. and eat from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m., only eight hours during the day, and then you fast for the other 16. When I weighed 265 pounds, I started with this. Instead of 12 p.m., I started at 2 p.m. and I would eat from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. and then fast during the the rest of the day. Over the course of a couple months, I pushed that first meal until 3 p.m., 4 p.m., until I was eating at 6 p.m. every single day and breaking the fast at 10 p.m. I would fast for 20 hours and eat for four hours. Remember the calorie equation. Calories in minus calories out equals to how much fat and weight you're gonna be losing. And so for me, I like eating large quantities of food. And so reducing my eating period to just four hours during the day, let me eat a lot of food 
during that time. But what about the specific foods you eat during this eating window? Do you have to eat like salads all the time or can you eat ice cream? So I would eat most of the foods that I was eating before. I would eat a lot of chicken curry, a lot of rice, a lot of Indian foods. Except when I first started to lose the weight, which will happen really quickly if you do intermittent fasting, I gained momentum and I wanted to be a healthier person. Like you watching this right now, do you really find yourself wanting to eat snacks long term and all this unhealthy crap long term? I know it might be hard for you to give it up right now, but when you think about your future fit self, are they eating ice cream every single day? Maybe. But for most people, probably not. And when you start to lose the weight, this is where you're in that period of time where you give up those bad foods. And I found after I lost five pounds and I looked at the scale being five pounds lower, I was like, damn, I'm gonna give up the snacks, I'm gonna give up the desserts. And so this is how you can naturally choose healthier items instead of just doing a diet, make it feel really natural. Another thing to note here is that high protein diets will let you lose fat a lot quicker. When your body digests protein, which you'll find in chicken and a lot of meats, when your body digests protein, it releases more heat than when it digests something like carbs, like white rice, potatoes, or fats like avocados or nuts. When it digests protein, it releases more heat, which burns extra calories so instead of having to exercise and do an extra 30 minutes on the treadmill if you eat a high protein diet you'll lose more weight I would eat 0.8 grams of protein for every pound that you are or 1.6 grams for every kilogram that you are if you weigh 200 pounds or about hundred kilograms eat hundred sixty grams of protein at least and if you want to try intermittent fasting push your first meal four hours more than you normally would so if you eat at 8 a.m. eat at 12 p.m. if you eat at 10 a.m. eat at 2 p.m. 6 a.m. 10 a.m. You'll probably lose five pounds in the first week that you try this but that momentum will drive you to cut out unhealthy foods and lose even more weight and using that momentum I would experiment with trying parts of other diets for example you don't have to go on a full keto or carnivore diet where you have zero carbs in your day but you can experiment with eliminating sugar so no added sugar if you see on any nutrition labels it says added sugar just don't get that food and so this is a lot of sodas a lot of fruit juices a lot of cereals and different snacks there's probably a lot of foods you never even knew had added sugar try eliminating those after you start losing weight another experiment I did was that I replaced white rice with lentils which I know a lot of people just eat lentils with their rice but I just replaced it entirely and it allowed me to lose a lot more weight this is because lentils are much more complex carb and also cause a lot less glucose to go into your blood and so in this state you're able to burn fat a lot more easily experiment 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 there's no number one diet here except the one that you find for yourself through experimenting and if you want my help and support through this process in creating your perfect diet and also a customized exercise plan go to the top link of the description and book a call with me to see if we're a good fit thanks for watching if you got any value from this hit the like comment and subscribe button and watch this next video